Hi everyone, it's Dr. Derek here from Med. Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna take you through a case study based on osteoporosis. I'm gonna attach a link somewhere on the screen with our osteoporosis theory video, which has basically got all the theory that you need to get through today's case study. So don't forget to pause just before the end of each question, write your answer down and click continue when you're ready to move on. With all of that said, let's dive straight in. Mary is a 78 year old lady with a background of COPD and ischemic heart disease. She was in hospital two days ago due to a fall and some chest symptoms. She was discharged following treatment for a community acquired pneumonia. During her time in hospital, she had x-rays including a chest x-ray and a lumbar spinal x-ray. Her chest x-ray confirmed the presence of consolidation and her lumbar spine x-ray showed multiple old lumbar spine anterior wedge fractures. She's been asked to see her GP about this. She's recovering well at home from her chest symptoms and although she's not yet completed her antibiotic and steroid course, she's currently asymptomatic and at her usual baseline. Here are her current medications. So question one, in relation to her lumbar spine x-ray results, which of the following is the most appropriate action? Our options are A, a DEXA scan, B, advice on diet and exercise, C, an urgent referral to orthopedics, D, commencing the patient on bisphosphonates, or E, monitor the patient. In this particular scenario, we'll commence the patient on bisphosphonates. This is due to current guidance, which suggests that our patients over the age of 75 who have had a fragility fracture do not need to have bone mineral density measuring and they could be presumed to have osteoporosis and therefore commence on oral bisphosphonates as first line therapy. Now our patient has a history of fragility fractures, as you can see at her lumbar spinal x-ray, which confirms the presence of multiple old anterior wedge fractures. Question two, so I've put on here Mary's current medication list. So have a look at this. Which of the following medications would you look to discontinue due to osteoporosis? So there are several medications that are involved in worsening or causing osteoporosis. In this particular list, the answer here will be omeprazole. The reason why omeprazole is the answer and not prednisolone is that the patient has a very short course of prednisolone only five days, only on day two as well. So we really need to discontinue it as we need her to complete the course in order to stop her from going back into hospital with her respiratory symptoms. Therefore, the answer here will be omeprazole. Question three, what key assessment should be considered prior to commencing our patient on a bisphosphonate? One of the major risks of our bisphosphonates includes osteonecrosis of the jaw, and this risk increases when any patient requires any very major dental work. So we will tell our patients to visit the dentist in order to have this assessment and to rule out the need of any major dental works. It's entirely reasonable to postpone the use of bisphosphonates until after the patient has any major dental works due to the risks involved. So that brings us to the end of today's video where I've taken you through a case study based on osteoporosis. Now don't forget to check out our osteoporosis theory video which has basically got all the information that you need to have gotten through this case study and a lot more. Make sure you also check out our musculoskeletal playlist which has got a lot more information on other topics that are within this curriculum area. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and until the next time I'll see you soon.